Yeah, guys, good morning. And I think there are probably thousands of Americans who feel like they just cannot catch a break after just day after day of severe weather threats. We're already up to 14 confirmed tornadoes across several states, and that number only expected to climb as surveyors get to states like the Buckeye State today to start checking out damage that's been reported across several cities there. Let's get you to some of the images here, uh, because this is where we're just starting to see in Portage County, for example, example, uh, what's left of what may have been uh, a tornado damage here. You're looking at the house that its roof has been uh, nearly completely ripped off. Cars flipped over boats flipped over. I mean, this is, you know, it clearly is significant for those who live in this uh, Wyndham Township portion of the state of Ohio. Powerful winds ripped through there, uh, really starting Wednesday afternoon. We know that this was a tornado warned stormed area. Storm reports coming in of about 65 mile per hour winds, as well as down trees, utility poles, and that's just south of Downton Marion, Ohio. But if you look further north into states like Michigan, Detroit, uh, was also part of the equation here, not necessarily in the wake of tornadoes, but severe thunderstorms definitely uh, packed a punch here. We saw significant rainfall, uh, powerful wind gusts still, and actually hail reported in several counties, including Ingram, uh, Van Buren, Kent, Barrie. That was sort of mid-afternoon time, so 3 to 5 p.m. here. And what you're looking at is sort of that storm in progress, maybe at its peak here. You see the flags really whipping in the wind there. Very low visibility as that rain comes down there as people are trying to drive through those thunderstorms that lasted several hours there. Uh, and again, hail reports up to quarter-sized hail uh, along with it. And there was still some damage across portions of Michigan. Look at Macomb County. Look at these massive trees that came crashing down onto homes, onto cars, and onto power lines here. Again, those straight line winds can sometimes produce just as much damage as a tornado if they're strong enough to uproot trees uh, of that size. This is another image of Ferndale, Michigan. Uh, so this is now the cleanup process that Michigan is, is working through today. Uh, thankfully, they're not necessarily a part of the threat or the renewed threat, I should say, that continues through the rest of the day on Thursday. Thursday, uh, but still reeling from uh, what they've already faced and the hours long uh, storm that they really dealt with. And, and not to mention, again, that hail was also uh, pretty significant. Take a look at this video of East Lansing. Uh, again, this is around the Ingram County area where uh, some people reported to see uh, some significant size hail. Uh, so I think it's very notable that we have seen day after day after day of severe weather and very similar visuals, right? Whether it's hail, wind, strong, th severe thunderstorms or tornadoes, and it's impacted a, a handful of states. I want to say maybe five or six at this point, and we know there are now more in the threat zone today, Britta Craig. So it uh, really is not a time to let your guard down. Uh, maybe a different set of cities now sort of bracing for what, what others have already faced. Yeah, some major cities as well as we go into this Thursday. We'll break it down throughout the day. And, Nicole, thanks for the update. And a, a lot of the visuals, they tell the story on the ground from what we're seeing, and it helps tell the story as we go through the day. Nicole Valdez, thank you so much, and we'll check in with you throughout the morning here.